guys, it's Nathan with Fat Guy Firearms. So tonight, I want to do my three-year review on the Caldwell Shooting Rest. Um, so I'm going to go over the pros and the cons. And I'm going to talk about my experience over the past three years. So I really like this Shooting Rest because it has a bunch of adjustments you can pretty much go any way you want to. Sorry for the table shaking, guys. You can turn left, right, bring it back to center, and all by the turn of these knobs, which is awesome. You have height adjustments, you have your locking knobs, and then you have height adjustments on each foot. It's a three foot system. What I do like is you have a bag to where you can torque your rifle down into, which I will show you. Thompson Center Compass is previously reviewed on the channel. You can put your gun and the rest and torque it down. where it won't go nowhere and it gives you a really nice stable platform to sight in your rifle or whatever you have the other hand to support back here which makes it really nice so let's talk about three years with the Caldwell so let's start with the good. It's held up for pretty much anything I've needed it to. I've zeroed quite a few of my own and other people's rifles with this rest. A couple things I don't like. I'll put some photos in post, but I've had to put new screws on the actual V block to that squeezes your rifle to make it steady. I've had to replace those. Um, Caldwell has a pretty good warranty, but they'll get you like any company if you need new parts. So it's not foolproof by any means of the world, any means of the word. Um, the actual bag, if I can get it to come out, The actual bag has been pretty tore up. Um, mainly because I do use this quite a bit. I'll throw some photos in post. It doesn't want to get out of there. But I guess that's a good thing. Um, it's really nice for what it is. Um, pros, it's hold your rifle very, very steady. There's a lot of adjustment left, right, and up and down. Um, you can do that. Again, I'm sorry about the table shaking, guys and gals, but you can move it up and down, do your elevation and everything. You move it left and right. Would I buy this again? I'm saying this preface to go into some cons. I would not buy this again. Around a hundred dollar mark, you can find a fairly good lead sled for less money. And you'll get everything this will. And with fewer moving parts, may actually be better for you. I think it was good for what I needed it to be. I got it on sale for like $60, which is almost half price. And... At that price, I really think it was a good value. But looking back on it, I wish I would have paid the extra $40 and bought the lead sled. The bag is worn out. I've had the screws wear out. It's not wide enough to fit a bunch of different rifles. Like if you have an AR style platform, it's not gonna fit in this block. If you have a Henry 
that has a wood forearm, it's not going to fit. So there's a lot of concessions that you have to take when using this rifle rest. And I don't think that you should have to have any concessions when you're paying over $100 for something. My recommendation would be go through your sock drawer, and I'll show you how to do that on the channel. Go through your sock drawer, get a cheap bag of chickpeas, and fill these bags with chickpeas for the front and the rear. And you can make a very stable shooting rest for your rifle and you're not gonna pay $100 for it. It's with stuff that you probably already have at home. I think that there are a lot of things that can be done with this rest to make it better. But I always kinda like to live, leave on a positive note, so that's what I'm gonna do. What I do like is all your bearings and all your all your threads are all metal. A lot of your cheaper ones, 40 to $50 are plastic on plastic and they're not very sturdy. You put a heavy forearm, forearm on them and they're just gonna slide right down. I like that it's metal, but I would not buy this again. So with that being said, if you have any questions, post them in the comments. If you have if you want to see a certain review or you want to hear my opinions on something, please leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. This is Nathan Fat Guy Firearms signing off. Bye, y'all.